Don't you look at me. I put men in a cell for less than that. Hey, shut it. All right, I'm calling time shut on up. this. Enough! Unbelievable. Okay, you come with me, or I will personally smash your brains on the ground. Bitch. Someone, Dismount. You know how this goes. I need help. Darn fool! Here's how it's gonna be. You call. Let's keep it civil in here, huh? Those lawmen ain't going to be so kind to you next time. Well then, have a look. It's got everything you need. Sure. That's it for now. Mr. Sinclair? Huh? Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry for intruding. Uh, Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I'm looking for your husband. My husband? Yeah. He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born one year ago. Your husband, Francis, is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband, Tom, is dead. Uh, I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? Uh, huh. uh, that's not important. Excuse me.
You again? <laughs> Ain't life funny? Well, check this out. You familiar with this here, mister? With this plant, burdock. Ugh. I use the roots to make medicine for my horse. It's better than anything you'll buy in those fancy catalogs. Good for you. Why are you telling me this? Just a friendly tip, man to man. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, I'm off to see what else I can find out there. Good luck to you. Let's go, boy. Good to have you. Room's ready whenever you need. Boy. Good morning, friend. There you are. Take your time with that.
Good then. Hey. Got what I, I need. Hear there was a shootout in Valentine, almost as bad as the one here after that jailbreak. You ain't been through in a while. Have a look around. Now, let me have a look. the Blackwater money for five minutes. This is a new record. What are you talking about now? Only reason you're still here. I know that. You think you're real funny, don't you? I'd pay all my share just to get rid of you. You wait. All right. Morning, Arthur. What you up to? Just minding my own business. Think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? You awake? I'm sleeping, Arthur. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out damn of here Lord. soon, I'm gonna I'm kill sleep. somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill what you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. 
You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Miss Zed are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yep. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. Well, I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <sighs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Hey, have I caused you offense? What you want, little feller? I can't take this, go away! Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Fine morning today. How can I help you, miss? It's Mrs. So I need potatoes, carrots, onions, flour, oats, salt, eggs, apples if you got them. Sure, not a problem. Big family, have you? Something like that. And you so close? We do. Not the widest range of ladies' fashion, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll look at everything you got. Of course. Mrs. Kilgore. What? You don't even trust me to handle the shopping by myself? Yours. Another? Stocking up. Sold.
Thanks, Mister. Okay, boy. What can I do? For hey, friend. Hey, move out. hey Mister. What did you get there? A very good morning no, to you. Morning to you. What do you mean? No? Good morning, Miss. What's in the park? Morning, partner. Came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Good morning. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Ha! So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Well, you sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? Ah. Go, go, go! Shit! Let's... Get the hell out of here! Go! Oh. What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. New pair of pants and you think you're landing rickets? Oh, shut up! I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down! Oh. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish! Here's those rocks! We got a special hole! You okay there, Sadie? Of course. You think I can't handle this? Oh! Uh. Told you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember asking you to prove it. There, see? Not many still standing now. 
Only ones paying a goddamn toll is you, ah! stupid bitches! Ladies, you are enjoying this far too much. How are you, Nashad? Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward! I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot him. All right, I'll drive us back. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful now. Slow it up. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway. Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind bothers. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Oh, hey, Arthur, I, I left some of that horse medicine I made for you by your tent. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Arthur! I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Arthur. You got any hair pomade? Excuse me? You know, <coughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. <laughs> Yeah. 